An meiner Seite BJJ-Experte Fernando Macaero. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time. Uh, before we talk about the seminar, the lesson you gave here in the Agogo Re uh, Reebok CrossFit Gym, it's called the grand opening today, I would like to ask you, um, how did you get involved into uh, BJJ? Uh, first time, uh, thank you so much, you, those guys, for coming here to see the class. Thank you for lost your time here with me. And uh, thank you for everybody inviting me to come here today. And thank you for everyone coming to my class today. Uh, I'm starting involved with Jiu-Jitsu in 1987. So that time in Brazil, not having many gyms in, in Rio de Janeiro. But uh, I, mean, I was in army before, no? so I finished the army. I looked for some fight, you know. But I want something more, more real, you know. I said, oh, man, I want to fight something more real. Uh, so I went to one competition, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I saw those guys. I said, hey, man, because I, I remember the guy to go to army lock, the guy. And the guy, the arm is so stretched, so stretched. And I asked the guy, look, what's happening? He got a broken his arm. But he said, if he don't tap it, the referee don't stop the fight. I said, man, that's the fight, you know. So he can fight the, the end, you know, he can fight, he can do the best he can for escape and keep the fight, keep it going. So the fight start up, go down, the fight don't stop. So I think, yeah, that's the fight, I gotta try, I gotta try. And uh, I'm, still, I'm still training now, you know, so it's a long time. But uh, it's good, I make a lot of good friends in the world, you know. I come here you now today, I was in, I am now in, working in Thailand. So it's really, it's wonderful how the sport opened the door and to make a lot of good friends, you know, in, in the long this way. Especially in MMA, um, the Many fighters show that BJJ is a very important thing. Uh, in short words, what is the beauty of BJJ and in MMA, to use it in MMA? Oh, Jiu-Jitsu, a long time ago, uh, when I started Jiu-Jitsu, the people talked to me uh, for 70 years, 80 years, Jiu-Jitsu don't lose for any another fight. So it's a really complete fight because all the fights stop when my fights start. So the box, when I close you, stop the fight. Muay Thai, when I close, stop the fight. Karate, when I close, stop the fight. Taekwondo, if you see all the fights. Judo, when I put you down, if I hold you 30 seconds, the fight is over. Jiu-Jitsu, don't stop. So my fight start when I'm close to you. You know, so that's really important if you know Jiu-Jitsu because when you be close to you, and um, then my fight, my fight start, and when I go to put you down, so doesn't matter if you're too big, I'm stop your power, you know? I'm stay to the top. For you get up, oh, that's another question of how you gotta get up now. Oh my God, I'm strong, big, but I'm to the bottom, to the guys, so how me get up now? So it's really important that the guys know Jiu-Jitsu. Really important how I'm get up, how I'm get out from that position, this situation. If you don't know Jiu-Jitsu, sometimes it doesn't matter if you, really strong, you have a wonderful uh, fight, but when it go down, that's another game, you know. And also, if you be attention to the natural, you know, the, the lion, he don't fight another animal stand up. He put you down and he, got, he choke you, you know. So the man's the same, you know, all the fights close. So if you close, you go down, that man start fight. Nice, uh, but in the last years, we could see there's a little trouble, I would call it war. Uh, between the black belts in uh, BJJ course in graduating they were talking about oh he's not that level as a black belt and he's calling himself a black belt for example uh, Ricardo Arona said one time uh, Vandale Silva is a very good MMA fighter a very strong striker but I watched him in two years he's now a black belt and that can't be true. And Hoyce Gracie said, for example, there are so many fake black belts that he uh, said, now I'm a blue belt like his uh, father was. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, this is too bad, you know, this happened a lot. Uh, you can, I heard a lot of stories, you know, about this. And uh, I know a lot of guys too. I saw some guys, oh, he's a black belt, but um, he don't have technique for to be a black belt. But that's except to his gym, his teacher, you know, and um, and sometimes those, especially those guys for MMA, you know, most of the time the guys um, he got his black belt like for 
how important for him to the country, you know, how respect to have the fight, and sometimes to give black belt for him for uh, some respect for him what he did, especially like Anderson Silva, you know, he he make the Brazil in Japan big name in the world, you know, him, Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva, so I never see he compete with the Gui, uh, Vanderlei Silva, he never compete with the Gui, but uh, he has his black belt because uh, he, he did a lot of work for Brazil, you know, he did a lot of good job for Brazil, but of course, any, any sport, you know, you see some guys not good and he have his black belt, that's not good, uh, my school, like uh, Brasilia top team, Mestre Murilo Bustamante, man, if I will be a black belt from him, or oh, it will have to work really hard, you know. But some schools, it's more easy, you know, except to who got to give you the belt for you, you know. A traditional BJJ fighter has to wear his G. But uh, we could also see in uh, Pride Fighting Championships, Royce Gracie, for example, was wearing a G uh, in MMA. Do you think uh, really black belt in BJJ should fight in an MMA fight with a gi? No, no, this, when he start, because uh, nobody knows jiu-jitsu that time. You know, so if the guy, he's a boxer, he never trained jiu-jitsu. So it doesn't matter if he gotta use, if I use the gi, he don't know not to the ground. So it's gotta be easy to control him there. And uh, for him, he crazy if he gotta fight some jiu-jitsu guy, because he gotta put him down, where he gotta use his box, his box there. He never trained this position, so, that time if you hoist, nobody knows jiu-jitsu, but now everybody knows in the world, oh, it's impossible if you go for fight, if you use the gi, you know, it, I gotta help my opponent a lot, you know, everybody now in the world train jiu-jitsu, you know, and uh, like you're talking about, like Anderson Silva, Vanderlei Silva, but uh, those guys train jiu-jitsu, maybe he's not good, very good, very high level, but they know jiu-jitsu, they train jiu-jitsu, they have to train jiu-jitsu, so everybody knows jiu-jitsu now. You know, it's impossible now you go for fight, you refuse the gear. Everybody trains jiu-jitsu now, no? My last question. In your seminar, we could see you, you taught a lot of uh, yeah, takedowns. Um, many people believe a BJJ fighter is most fighting from his back. Do you think that's a mistake uh, 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 that people think uh, BJJ is only to fight in the guard and working for the armbar? No, uh, all the high levels jiu-jitsu in the world, that many guys know as a black belt judo. And the main ones train wrestling too, many ones train good judo and um, not have more the guy black belt jiu-jitsu, he don't train judo. Everybody knows some technique stand up, you know, because uh, like I say, if you got to fight some guy very high technique, if him put you down, he start the fight with two points. For you make two points him, man, sometimes impossible, no? So you, you have to know, you have to learn how fight stand up. Also for no give points for my opponent easy, no? So everybody have to learn uh, some techniques stand up. Everybody, no? And like I showed before, a long time ago, you can start the fight sit and do like this. So now you cannot do that more. You have to start the fight stand up and you cannot sit more. So you have to know some techniques stand up for put it down. And that's good, make the guys understand, make the guys, oh, you have to learn some techniques stand up. You have to learn. Because if you've got to fight in street, you got to sit for the bad guy, no? The guy come, hey, give him money, you got to sit, oh no, come my jiu-jitsu, no. You have to fight him stand up, you have to know something, you know, for make you complete your game. That's what I believe. Fernando, thank you very much for giving us an inside view of the beauty of BJJ. Um, if you have something to say for your yeah, people in Brazil, you're free to say. Oh, I want to say hello for everybody. You know, I want to say thank you for Tiger Muay Thai in Thailand, the place I work there now. And I want to say thank you for Ivan here, Nick, those guys invite me to come here to Germany, to a God gym here. So I have a wonderful time now and uh, I hope to come back here in future and I see the guys very high technique here. That's, uh, thank you so much for you guys for your time with me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.